Hey guys, Luke here, and today I wanted to do some day light painting and give you a tutorial on this. I don't know what the official name of this effect is called, if you know what it's called, leave it in the comments, but I'm gonna go ahead and call it day light painting, and this is how it goes. I'm gonna use this coffee mug. It doesn't have to be a coffee mug, it could be anything, but it's what I'm using. I'm gonna start up here and start my painting. Okay, I don't know if you're as amazed as I was when I first saw this, but I was pretty amazed. I was like, how did they do that? I'm not sure how they did it, but here's how I'm gonna do it. Let's go ahead and jump in the tutorial. All right, first thing you gotta do is take a video. So I'm taking a video of this red coffee mug. Now using something bright and colorful like this is gonna help in the editing process. Let's go ahead and open that video up on my computer and I'm gonna be using Photoshop and I'm also going to be using PowerDirector, which that's just the video editing software that I use. You could use Premiere or something else, but um, yeah, I'm gonna be using PowerDirector. First thing we're gonna do is drag this video clip over into PowerDirector. Then we can drag that down to our timeline here. And I wanna trim it down to where it's just the part that we're gonna be doing the painting in. So starting over here and ending right as it goes out of the screen. Okay, once that's done, we can go ahead and hit produce. And we're gonna save this as an image sequence. As you can see, I have selected here and go ahead and hit save. Now, if we head over to the folder that we saved those in, you can see we have all of the individual frames of the video saved as individual photos. I'm gonna open up one of these in Photoshop. Now we can open up the rest of the photos in Photoshop as well. Now you can see them all over here in the side panel. What we're gonna do is use the selection tool to make a selection around the coffee mug. Go down here and hit add layer mask. When you make a layer mask, you'll see that it deletes everything in the photo except what you had selected. Now we can go to our next photo and repeat the process. Now I'm going to continue on doing this through all of the frames that we have in our video. I know this sounds really tedious, but I mean, people make like stop motion videos and stuff like that too, so this isn't that ridiculous and your patience will pay off. Just uh, stick with me here. Now you can see that I have finished selecting the coffee mug out of every single frame. You can see over on the right all of the individual layers. Now what we're going to do is we're going to select all of these layers. We're going to go up here to layers and merge layers. Now all the frames have been merged into one picture. You can see I can select it, move it around. If you zoom in you can kind of see the edge of every single frame. and. That's fine if that's the look you're going for, but it's not quite what I want. So I'm going to right click on the photo and hit select pixels. Once it's made that selection, we can go to filter, blur, path blur, and we can make a blur that actually follows this path here. Right about there, we can hit OK. Now I'm going to make the background transparent, and we're going to export this as a PNG file. That's going to keep that transparent background. Now I'm back in PowerDirector and you can see I have my video clip here. I'm going to drag my photo down onto the timeline and you can see the photo is on top of the video. Now I'm going to head into Designer, Mask Designer. And in here we can create a mask. We can also create keyframes for this mask. So we're going to start it off over here to where there isn't any of our coffee mug uh, light painting and I'm going to make a position key down here at the bottom. Now we can go a few frames into the video, drag our layer mask up over here, and you can see it made a new keyframe down here. And again, just continue on here through the rest of the video, making keyframes. And now that we're at the end, we'll hit OK. So we're almost done here, but as you can see, our layer mask is kind of half cutting off the coffee mug as it travels through the video, and that looks weird. So our final touches for this is gonna be to create a duplicate of our original video. I'm gonna double click on that, 
and create a Chrome key, and this Chrome key is gonna delete all of the colors except for red. Now, placing that video on top of the rest of the videos, we now have our coffee mug coming in in front of our light painting. And that is how you do daylight painting. Now before we wrap up this video, it is Instagram shout out time and it is a shout out for OM7 Photography it took this photo right here. Really, really like this picture. Go check him out. I'll throw a link to his Instagram in the description below. If you'd like to support this channel, we have a Patreon page, we have merch linked in the description below. If you need to build yourself a website for free, then check out group pages. I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Go watch some of my other videos, subscribe. See you guys next time.